guys so if you want to know what was that package it was my pocket microscope it needs one battery and it would start working so let's get it out for you guys and this helped me a lot to find out what happened to my scorpion and I got it today and the scorpion dropped its stinger today so it was the greatest day so turn on LED light you look through the hole and you can see a lot of things so under here I was able to see the spider hairs the scorpion tail the scorpion fungus which I will talk to you guys about I watch uh, the eyes of a dragonfly the um, wings of a dragonfly and a lot of other different insects that at the end I will show you the pictures so you guys can know how good or bad this is and to me it's an excellent microscope it gets up to a hundred yeah from 60 to 120 you won't be able to see like small cells and stuff like that but you will get to see tiny things that the human eye cannot see by itself and let's get to the scorpion. Alright guys, so this is my male Asian forest scorpion. The stinger is right here. So once I looked into his tail with the microscope, it was just out of curiosity. And I saw a fungus taking over the stinger. The stinger lost all its hairs. It's supposed to have hairs to know where their prey is and like they sense stuff. And the fungus took over all that. The hairs... There was no hairs no more, there was only pores, and I was like, what is this? So when I looked into the female, there was an organ that gets out of the tail and goes inside the stinger. And yeah, uh, I started looking around on Google about the, about the fungus and didn't find pretty much anything. People are just cutting them up. Um, my male had it on the stinger, a little bit under the tail, and I am not sure if that's it on one of its claws. There's a little amount of it. I will have to check him, but I hope this guy does well. I am super scared. And let's see if I can show you guys what the fungus actually looks like. Kind of better with the flash on. That's the fungus right there. See that yellow right there? It's supposed to be white, not yellow. See the fungus right there? And on its claw right there. And it's only the male, I don't know why. I hope that he's molting and all that will fall off with it. But I am work, gonna work with it. I'm gonna uh, do some research on it. I don't want this guy to die, even though he's pretty old, but yeah. I already checked on him that everything moved okay. One of his claws stretches more than the other, so the fungus has attacked this one already. Hopefully it's just scars and not fungus, but I'm pretty sure it's fungus. She is crazy. Let me check on you. Behind the tail, she is okay. Our limbs are there. No sign of fungus. Oh, she almost stung me. Oh, she looks great. I think I'm going to separate them for a minute, see how this goes, if it's breading. But I think, I believe since I got him, I saw it. I just didn't know what it was until I saw it inside the microscope. And I saw how it was attaching to different parts and how it's spread. But he seems to be doing all right. These scorpions don't really use their stingers unless they really, really have to. So he will be all right. He will be able to eat normally and everything. All right, guys, if you guys know anything that could help me to make these scorpions better, please let me know. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and also watch my other videos. I took of Brian Barshek and yesterday's lock that I had. So watch those videos. Thank you so much. Purchase one of these pocket microscopes for yourself. The link will be down in the bio is only $12.